Good day, Grade Tens. So we're going to carry on with our revision in this lesson, and in this lesson, we're going to revise some questions on electromagnetic radiation. So, if you find these questions hard and you don't understand what's going, go back to the week that we did electromagnetic radiation, and go watch those videos, and go do the questions again. Right. So it says two photons of electromagnetic radiation traveling in a vacuum have different energies because they differ in. And what you need to know is that E is equal to H. F. This is the energy, energy of the radiation, light, whatever. This is Planck's constant, so that remains the same. Dear old Planck, Planck's constant. Okay, and this here is your frequency, and your frequency happens to be the frequency of the energy or the wave. Okay, measured in hertz. So it says two photons of electromagnetic radiation traveling in vacuum have different energies because they have different, and the correct answer is frequency, because your energy is dependent on your frequency, and we can see that from this equation. Right, next. It says, which one of the following statements regarding electromagnetic waves is correct? In a vacuum, all electromagnetic waves have the same speed, amplitude, frequency, or wavelength. Well, we've just shown that basically your waves will not have the same frequency because the energies, and we know that as well because light of different color is a different frequency, so we know it's not frequency. And we know that frequency in, and wavelength are actually related because velocity is equal to lambda frequency, you should know that. So therefore, it's not the wavelength. Amplitude is definitely not the answer, the correct answer is speed, because we know that all electromagnetic waves in a vacuum travel at a constant of 3 times by 10 to the 8 meters per second, which we kind of think of as the speed of light. But light is an electromagnetic wave, so that's why we can say that it's true. Moving on, it says Joshua breaks his leg playing Sims and goes to have the x-ray taken. I don't know quite know how he broke his leg playing Sims, but anyway, x-rays emitted by the x-ray machine have a wavelength of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 11 meters and ask you what is the frequency. Okay, so we've just said that C is equal to lambda F, the velocity is equal to lambda F, and the velocity of all electromagnetic waves is 3 times by 10 to the 8 meters per second. I know we said that that's in a vacuum, but quite honestly it slows down so much, so little in um, air that we can use it. Okay, we've been given the wavelength, it is 1.5, we know that this is 1,5 times 10 to the minus 11, and they want the frequency. Therefore, we can say frequency is equal to C over wavelength, which is 3 times by 10 to the 8 over 1.5 times 10 to the minus 11. And now we need to get out our calculator, our little fraction, and we're going to say, right, we've got 3 exponent 8 divided by 1.5 exponent of negative 11 and it equals 2 exponent 19. So the answer is frequency is 2 times by 10 to the 19 and remember what you always have to do, you always have to put your units in and frequency is measured in hertz, so that's the hertz. So that's that. Now it says how much energy do the x-ray photons have? So we know that E is equal to HF and H is Planck's constant, Planck's constant, and Planck's constant, which is given to you on the formula sheet, is 6.63, 6,63, times by 10 to the negative 34. Okay, joule seconds, joule seconds. Right, so now they want to know how much energy. Well, we've got the frequency, we just worked it out, it's 2 times by 10 to the 19. So now we can substitute into this equation. So let's do that. We've got E is equal to 6.63 times by 10 to the negative 34 times by 2 times by 10 to the 19. And again, we need our calculator and we substitute into our calculator. So we've got 6.63 63 exponent of minus 34 times 2 exponent 19 
and we get 1.326 times 10 to the negative 14. Now remember we always do to two decimal places, so it becomes 1.33 times 10 to the negative 14. So the energy is 1,33 times by 10 to the negative 14, and what is energy measured in? It's measured in joules. Okay, so that's one of the types of questions you could have in electromagnetic radiation. Let's get another type of question. Okay, electromagnetic waves are observed to have a wavelength of 0,14 meters. Using the diagram shown below, deduce what type of electromagnetic waves these are. So 0,14 meters is between 1 meter and 1 centimeter. So therefore, we could say that they are radio waves. Okay, that was pretty easy. Now it says give one use of these electromagnetic waves that you have named in the question above. So we've said they're radio waves and they've actually helped us because they give us the uses. Yeah, they've told us already. There's radar, TV and FM. So we could say it is for communication. That's pretty obvious. Right, and that's some example questions on electromagnetic radiation. As I stated before, if you don't understand this or if you have no idea what's going on, please, please, please go learn, go watch the videos on this section and then go do the questions to make sure you understand this. Have a great day.